Hello guys, so here's another power brick I'm trying to save from the dead. Um, this is another victim of uh, water damage which happened into my in my backpack. So I, as you see, this is Blackberry um, power brick or um, and it's it's actually I really like it because it has huge and long uh, lead also it's rated um, 1.8 amp but it really nicely charges plus it has this foldable um, prongs I really really like this um, uh, charger um, so I'd like to really fix it so I tried to kind of open it up as you see and uh, it didn't really you know give me a chance to um, open up so i also use the same trick with wd-40 but it didn't do it did nothing so i resorted to the similar scenario what i've done with google uh home mini and you know what yeah it budged so i was hammering it like this on the perimeter all over the place uh, at first slightly then stronger and stronger it yeah this is turned out to be much more useful tool for what uh, i in, 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 uh, um, originally purchased it <laughs> anyways it works anyway put it aside so uh i didn't open it yet it started kind of i thought it started coming up it did it was i swear yes it does coming up so it's opening so let's see what's inside because this is so originally I thought it, it's glued turned out to be it looks like it's not glued it just has this super strong clips which are really deep inside the case uh, so yeah you can open these guys without actually um, damaging them apparently but it's still not easy to do because those clips are really deep in so oh my god i don't want to break it okay here we are a little bit of power did the trick so yeah take a look at this there is no glue here this just very strong clips and i guess oh no ah oh, my bad my bad i see glue so yeah it was glued never mind uh, really strong um, plastic if it's survival this hammering and beating so here all the business and here look at those two beefy um, uh, voltage regulators I assume curious how do I unpackage all this package okay uh, let's try to pull it out with my fingers I don't know if it will be possible it's kind of well I assume it was it's supposed to be pulled out but I don't know if I push it like the can I push it just like this no no I cannot push it like this I guess I need some pliers okay here we are this is uh, needle nose pliers and I try to use them in order to pull this thing out okay that's <laughs> worked so much better and here we see it's not as nice as uh, Google one the uh, leads are just soldered directly in but still but look at those beefy leads I love it look at this it's really thick wire in comparison to other power supplies I disassemble so I, I love this it's very thick wire it's awesome so obviously having this like almost meter and a half or one meter 80 centimeters long wires pretty long you really have to have thick wire otherwise all this 1.8 amp doesn't make any stupid sense so construction is very funny it's like sandwich two boards together nicely tucked inside the case and if you compare the size of component base of the Google um, home mini power uh, power supply and this one there is a quite substantial difference this one seems like using like old-school kind of component but I mean it's not really old school it has some SMD components obviously but it's uh, by the way this is much older power 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 supplies probably like four four five year old but still it's uh, should be 
perfectly operational but these guys doesn't work at all so let me uh, my my task today is to actually check what's happening if this is this guy if it's um, is salvageable you know if you can fix it and so on and so forth so let's uh, first of all let's take a look at the uh, how um, mains are connected so uh, if you take a, uh, take a look in the bottom here there are two plates which are connected to those foldable prongs obviously when the four prongs are in this position they make direct contact with is those place, plates on the other side and those plates make direct contact with these two contacts. So the very first thing which may potentially happen here that WD-40 or water short circuit something and it stopped working because of that. So for, uh, it was not working even before I put WD-40 in there. So uh, yeah, by the way, this thing is all in WD-40 so it's kind of this cr crap everywhere but they obviously gonna wash it up. Uh, so I don't see any uh, obvious sign of damage so I have no idea what's really not working yet. Um, there is a lot of capacitors here which is very interesting. I'm curious if they separated primary and secondary parts because here is like a um, bridge rectifier uh, and I assume yeah 400 volt capacitors on this side as well and uh, this guy uh, let me see is this a filtering capacitor of some sort yeah, it's like HX2 filtering capacitor over here. This guy can be in between uh, live and neutral filtering capacitor. Some transformer. And what is this? Oh, by the way, there are. Uh, it's probably it's probably choke over here. Uh, it's not transformer. See here, take a look at those spark gaps over here. This is amazing. Like if you pay attention, this uh, spark gaps. Okay. Uh, so another this this one and, and this one are uh, similar capacitors. Ten microfarads, four hundred volt. Okay, sorry, my bad. This may be different because I actually don't see. It's four hundred volt, but how many capacitors? Ten. Ah, exactly. Two uh, similar capacitors. Uh, leads are nicely shrinked, yeah, shrink wrapped into some sort of I don't know Teflon plastic or poly. Um, oh, what's the name of it? polypropylene I guess plastic uh, wraps so this is probably primary side but it's kind of funny that leads don't go directly to there oh I see okay so this blue one goes and brown one goes on this board all right and uh, what else is this what is this ah it's probably fuse 5 ohm rs1 5 ohm to what so yeah this is fuse so and obviously this side is fused and on this side um, red and green is already rectified and it goes to the board and Bob's your uncle so here is some uh, isolation over here this is still interesting construction never actually seen this before uh, I mean I didn't I'm not a big expert in power supplies but never seen this before uh, this kind of sandwich because still like between this board like if you sandwich it like this it's still quite a you know pretty tight space so I don't know look at this old transformers wrapped like a like a candy bar here nicely uh, this probably to you know obviously prevent leakage from main to to the this tra transformer um, by the way, capacitors, I thought for the first glance, like Rubicon, but they are not. They are some sort of TK brand, which I never, never heard before. At least what I can gather from what I see. Yeah, it's not Rubicon. It's some sort of TK. Well, maybe it's TDK. I don't know. Uh, okay, what do we have here? So on this, there are two moves around. What are those moves? Yeah, it's uh, for protection too. I think this is another one over here on this uh, this is in between interesting so this mob is in between neutral neutral and actually ground yeah yeah in between V minus uh, which goes here it's uh, it's interesting so this one in between primary and secondary um, 
uh, parts of the uh, voltage regulation. Uh, all right, where are those guys? Okay, so I have to actually take a look uh, in details what are these guys, what these guys are, uh, because they are still in WD40, which make it's all oily and really hard to see the components. Uh, there are a few more capacitors. This is probably on on secondary side here. Yeah, so this is probably just filtering capacitor, 10 microfarad, 10, 10 volt, 300 something microfarad, I think, or 33 micro. It's really hard to see because it's all it's not. Look at this actually tiny capacitor here, the ZDA brand. Again, it's really hard to see what exactly it is. Look at this also uh, nomination here um, on the board is Finong, Fihong, says Fihong, PSM09A, blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't know what 94V means, from 94 volts or something. Interesting, interesting, many interesting things I can see. Uh, clearly unusual. Um, package here. So I'm gonna take a look at the component base and come back with some explanation. Also we'll clean up first. So I have gathered some information on the component base and I don't have good results actually. So I have no, oh, excuse me, I have no idea what this guy is because it's impossible to make out anything if there's even anything, uh, any kind of uh, text on it. So either I really rub the text off using uh, isopropyl alcohol or WD-40 actually diluted whatever was here. So yeah, well, SOL. Uh, I have no idea what this regulator is. So those two dudes over here, those uh, TO220 packages, they are not what I thought. So this dude is power MOSFET uh, 04N70BT. Uh, company is advanced power whatever whatever. And this dude is Schottky diode rectifier is MOSFET S. 20 C 60 C um, yeah so obviously not power uh, no not voltage, voltage regulators at all they're just a part of a, a circuit um, yeah unfortunately yeah we can I have no idea what this dude is uh, and another thing I have no idea if this thing operates because uh, the only thing uh, the only way I can actually test it out is put it all together because uh, you know what actually the first thing I would because I don't see the obvious damage right so the first thing would be probably to check the um, the how do you call it fuse to see if fuse is okay because it actually has no signs of life so I'll check if fuse is okay and if fuse is okay I will continue further and it's very easy to check because it's uh, disconnected. So let's quickly check if fuse is okay. I don't really have to do it on camera, but in case someone wonder how to check for the fuse. So fuse is connected to this um, live uh, side of the input and fuse is fine. Because there is no any other way uh, this contact can go through the circuit except through this fuse. And we see it's okay. So if there is... Opa! I pull up the little clamp here. So if there is any problem with this guy, it's probably uh, something else. Potentially some sort of corrosion. Because uh, look at those tops over here. They are contacting with PCB. So theoretically if any kind of corrosion or bad contact that will not work because of the... Oh, okay, we see some gunk here actually. I gonna clean that up. Sorry, I missed that at first place. So now we have moment of truth when we get uh, the power and we double check if this thing works. First of all, yes, it does not, did not explode. And I'm gonna take my favorite tool of all, Drock power meter and plug it in and it looks oops sorry don't leave me I'm gonna just put it here this pretty beefy wire try to escape and it shows 4.92 volts let's crank up the current and see if this thing actually chooch or well 
how one dude says it. Operates. Mm -hmm. I must say this this guy cuts off precisely at 1.8 amp. Wow, this is uh, not expected because I know that some other power uh, power bricks like that or power supplies they usually have some sort of you know tolerance so they for example the google one rated at 2 amp and cuts off at 2.7 so this guy rated at 1.8 it cuts off precisely at 1.8 so look at this 1.8 when i just crank it up smidge more yep 1.85 chop done all right but that's good but that's good like i mean it's still pretty decent uh, module pretty decent power um, supply or charger which does the good job of charging the phones and powering all sorts of electronics so I'm gonna test put it in a test mode before I actually seal this unit and we'll hook up some sensitive electronics uh, to it or well I'm gonna just use it for, for, for charging some stuff like cheap power bank and things like that but for now I'm gonna run it in the test mode uh, so looks like it's actually operate so uh, didn't do really any kind of source of repairs I just cleaned it up inside put it back together um, and uh, yeah and it works well let's see how it's gonna perform uh, in this time if it's gonna die or something will corrode permanently and will be game over so uh, yeah I think this is it and if you guys like this sort of video please like and subscribe see ya next time